Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. And today we're going to show you the custom profile feature on our analog simulator. You can use this to simulate specific milliamp steps that your process goes through for troubleshooting and startup. So we put our simulator in place of where our analog instrument would go to on this control panel. And for this application, we'll be using current source. And then you can use the up and down arrows just as normal to manually simulate a signal. Or you can press OK to bring the automatic options up, which includes sweep, step, and custom profile. We're going to use the custom profile. We're going to put a step time of 10 seconds, a number of steps at 3. Step 1 will be 11 and a half milliamps. Step 2 will be 12 milliamp. And step three will be 12 and a half milliamp. Then we'll go to run cycle. For our situation, if we're below 12 milliamp, then the drive should slow down. Once it's at 12 milliamp, which is the PID set point, it should stop. And once it is above 12 milliamp, such as 12 and a half here, it should increase speed. Then it repeats back at 11 milliamp, which slows the drive back down until it reaches 12 milliamp where it stops. And then it goes up to 12 and a half milliamps which starts the drive speeding up again. At any moment you can hit the OK button and it will pause this custom cycle. Then if you hit the OK button again, it'll resume. Till next time. See you later. <laughs> We're twinning today. You know what's bad is we did not plan this. I left earlier and I came into the building and I'm like, are you serious? We're both wearing analog simulator shirts. Well, I guess we need to make an analog simulator video. So we did. Yes. We assimilated you. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.